Hey everybody, it's your boy STIZAR. Just wanted to do a uh, compilation video. Talk about the uh, things I got on the car. I also want uh, or like some suggestions. Uh, what else you guys think I should put on here? A blow valve, upgraded turbo, uh, front mount intercooler. Um, I know I've been procrastinating that I want to wrap the car, but I feel like I keep buying <laughs> other pieces to put on here. Um, but let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, put them on the comments. Um, you know, and go ahead and I'll, I'll get them and uh, we can uh, share this experience together. So, all right. Well, you guys have seen the car before. Um, as far as the exterior, um, still got the body kit. Still got the uh, Grim Speed relocation kit. Uh, I bought those uh, Subi Speed, uh, the black emblem on the front. Um, got the slide to unlock. I got that on Amazon. That was like ten dollars. Um, I got the RCE yellows. Gives it a nice uh, progressive drop, not too aggressive. Uh, it's about 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 uh, inches, and then I tacked that on with some squirrely 20 millimeter uh, spacers. Which gave it that sweet flush look um, you know without it though the wheels are pretty far into the to the fenders 20% um, tints got the OEM uh, window visors got the OEM vortex um, got the Dunlop overlay permanent stickers uh, get those on tirestickers.com uh, we got some carbon fiber fittings on the side. Uh, it's a 2016. So I got the uh, pulley on the back. I got the rock block uh, mud flaps. Got the nameless exhaust. Um, with the uh, catalyst downpipe on it. And the uh, Tomy uh, UEL headers with a two inch up pipe. Um, I don't think I have anything else on here. I got some emblems over here for the flex fuel. And I got those from Subi Speed as well. Not the flex fuel, but the STI. Swap those out for the black ones. Um, I debadged the back of the car. So that's pretty much the exterior of the car um, the drivetrain got the uh, torque solution transmission mount got the uh, torque solution drive shaft bushings got the cross member bushings as well for the transmission um, I do have engine mounts I haven't installed those yet because those look like a pain in the ass to do um, what else is underneath there I got the cart boy uh, front and rear shift bushings uh, with it with the uh, short shifter um, I also had them install the the car starter I think that was the first thing I did to the car the aftermarket car starter you can start it about 500 yards away which is pretty cool especially in the winter uh, to get the heat going in the summer to get the AC blowing so um, this is the limited one so everything is touch screen and we'll go in the interior right now so you pretty much just touch it right there and opens the door um, uh, the inside is a touch screen 7 inch uh, monitor uh, got the Cobb access port. Currently, I am running a TSM top uh, top speed motorsport um, map on it. They did an awesome job uh, tuning my car. Um, I installed some light LED uh, strips on the footwells of the driver and the passenger. Um, nothing else really. I LED'd everything inside the car. Uh, those didn't cost much. So, uh, that's the interior. Let's go ahead and pop the 
hood. Take a look inside. So, uh, uh, where do I start? Um, got the Canon air filter. Obviously, you see Perrin, Perrin, Perrin. So I got the boost solenoid, Perrin shroud, whatever they call it. The pulleys, the radiator. I uh, got the Mishimoto upper and lower uh, silicone hoses. Um, got the Mishimoto uh, expansion coolant tank, about 50% more. Got the STI shield on it, but you can still see it. little rocks still go through it. I uh, got the silicone uh, inlet turbo hose down there. Got the parent silicone hose as well. Uh, this is the Grim Speed three boost, uh, three port. Boost solenoid. Um, also got the wrapped uh, down pipe, wrapped up pipe, the UL uh, wrapped headers on the bottom over there. Um, this is a bracket I need to get rid of. It's just dangles there. Got the uh, air oil separator. I want to say this is the street edition. Um, it circulates everything. Um, it's good for the engine, you know. Uh, what else did I do? I got the E85, uh, the cop kit that's in there somewhere. Um, runs from the return line down into the E85 sensor. Runs the return line up into my adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Uh, I took out the whole fuel debacle here with the two dampers and the the uh, stock fuel regulator. Um, it's got no more stumble. Um, I adjusted the, the regulator to 43 PSI, which you guys probably can't see. Um, I also took off the, the vacuum line from the manifold straight to the blow-off valve. You guys kind of see all this. I'm going to take this off one of these days and put a silicone line. Um, that also caused a stumble as well because of the vibration and the pulsation from the cylinders it would go in there and it would uh it would react to it and it would make that stumble as well um lighting just a bunch of lighting uh, i switched my drls to my c lights and my fog lights that's it right there that's the c clamp basically you just have to find your wires and splice them off of each other. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have in here. I think that was it for that. I do want to get an inlet hose. Uh, get a nice silicone one, not this hard plastic. That looks like a pain in the ass to put in, so that might be something on the back burner. Um, I do want to get a new battery, one of those Optima batteries. Um, so I don't plan on getting any system or anything like that. I mean, the car already comes with a Harman sound, nice bass, nice tremble to it. It's got tweeters. So it's got a little sub uh, in the trunk. Um, it's got a pitch mount underneath there. The pitch mount and the transmission mount um, basically just made a huge difference. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's it as far as the engine is concerned. Um, I did everything myself, which is pretty fun. Uh, but let's go ahead and start the car. See what it sounds like. So. Sorry. my gauge I have it on intelligent mode right now when I'm driving um, it's got Bluetooth everything touch screen that's my uh, boost gauge comes with the car uh, my peak boost sometime today was 20.7 um, that's the time that's my miles per gallon it's got a ton of different options on here I have no idea what happened so, um, these are the gauges that I have on my... Those are the gauges.
gauges that I use. Uh, I know it's hard to tell. My phone sucks. I cracked it. I was sitting down, go karts with my kids, and I shattered the the lens on, the, on my phone. So right there shows my ethanol content, which should be between 70 and 80. Um, I'm tuned for that. I'm also tuned for gasoline as well, but I stay strictly ethanol. Burns better. Uh, right now, sitting idle, I'm at 122 intake temp. That's the temp right there, miles per hour. Right now I have it on dam, but... So... That's what my car sounds like. Got a nice, uh nice deep rumble to it again it's it's a uh, nameless muffler deletes uh, cat is deleted off the down pipe it's wrapped so um, that was pretty much it for that so these are the lights it's kind of hard to tell but Sounds good. She's tuned good. She uh, she runs real well. Let's do a little uh, test run real quick. So wheels don't rub with the lower though. horsepower to the wheels and 420 uh, torque this thing really can pull <laughs> so I try not to beat on it too much so right there that quick pull it was at 18.24 uh, boost so that, that's not too shabby um this is it this is pretty much uh, the whole video but again let me know uh, what you guys think let me know what else you guys think I should put on. Uh, I know I'm going with a bigger turbo probably this fall. Um, definitely gonna go with the front mount intercooler. Could be even sooner. Uh, I'll have to get a blow valve. Um, still wanna get the car wrapped, starting with the roof. But, um, you know, I just, I just wanna see what else uh, you guys think I should do to the car. But let me know. Write some comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, she's been a really fun, fun, fun project. Um, I've uh, I've worked on her for a while. So, but all right, guys. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for the support.